Down set 09, POS. Yeah, man. How uh, you doing, man? What a day. Ah, uh, I'm doing good. It's happy. I'm happy that it's happening right now. And it's going to be over tomorrow. But mostly just because it takes so much work. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to work a record. Everybody on staff is working the record. Everybody's working on this. There's a, a trillion people here. And just one of those things that as soon as my set came at 3 o'clock, as soon as it was over, yeah, I was like, oh. but it's good to get that out of the way and get it and just really yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I had a really great time. It's been an awesome day. Yeah, yeah. How would you compare last year to this year? Um, I like this location better because I mean it's it's bigger, it's more open. You can't hear one stage from the other. Yeah. Last year was you could hear it yeah. whenever there was set breaks, you could hear it. It was bleeding. Uh, I like being downtown. That's cool, but. I mean, we got all the room we need out here, man. This is cool. And people know that they're here. They drove out for this, so nobody's leaving. Yeah. People aren't showing up late. Out. They're going to be here. They got the here. Party they're here. Crazy. They're going to watch. Here, the party's here. Yeah. They're watching Doom. This is going to be sick, though. Yo, so have you... You've been on tour. You put this album out. I got to say, one of the most creatively packaged CDs. I've been listening to hip-hop since I was 10, 11 years old. One of the most creatively packaged CDs I've ever seen. I haven't had a chance to talk to you about the thing with the cups in yeah. the video. Yeah. How long did it take you to learn how to do the cup trick? Um, actually, uh, my friend Allegra, who lives in St. Louis Park, or lived in St. Louis Park, now she lives in Seattle, she's in college. She's been coming to uh, POS and Doomtree shows and Rhyme Slayer shows forever. And uh, essentially, b between waiting for bands at some show out in St. Cloud, she sat me down when she was playing with uh, one of her friends. And they had the cups there, and they were just doing it. And I was like, man, I like that rhythm. Show me that. Yeah, it's so, really like almost like a step in like a, it's a really different, the rhythm is different. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different, but it feels familiar, which is kind of what I like. That's what I love. The record. It went like, when you made the record, did you make it around the cup trick? Because you shout her out in the song. Oh, the song, the song I made definitely around that. Like, around that, the rhythm of the beat. Of yeah, the cups. that I'd, I'd been meaning to sample it and make a beat from that for like two years so and dope. I just I couldn't figure out a way to do it right that's so and hip hop yeah. that is so fucking hip hop like something from nothing and you say this thing and this little trick these girls do their fans I was like I remember showing CJ and I was like this is sick and, you know, and definitely I was talking to a lot of artists about the possibility of if you don't have a big budget the more creative you are the more it sticks I mean not even just the more creative you are but nowadays when so much music sounds Exactly the same. Yeah. The I love T Pain, but I'm fam. Saying, fam. I'm, I'm not even I'm not even mad at T Pain. No, he's great. I'm just saying everybody can't be T Pain. And he ha he's on everybody's record every time out. Yeah. And he's dope, but he's, I mean he's dope, he writes a killer hook and he does a thing that's that needs doing, but I'm not even just talking about T Pain, I'm talking about rap and subject matter yeah. and the way beats have been forfeited. Shout out to T Pain, I fuck with T Pain. Go ahead. Pause. <laughs> I'm saying I fuck with T Pain too. That's good. Whoa, I said it too. Pause. 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 Um I just, I like to come at things with a creative view because my favorite things to listen to come at things brand new. And my favorite records are the ones you hear them and you're like, I've never heard anything like this. Yeah. So that's what I strive to make. Yeah, yeah. I'm well, not I, saying that I'm all the way there, but that's what I'm working on. Last time I talked to you, you you, you like loud. You were like, I like loud. I like to feel it. And I saw you today and I really got a chance to experience it. I was like, yeah, he really gets it out, really lets it out. He, a lot of success in last year. Have you, you're all these Minnesota guys, all the Rhyme Series kids are so humble. You feeling it? You feel the? It's a lot. Is it, is, is it, are you going crazy yet? I'm not. I'm not going crazy. I never will. I love I mean, it. This is. This I is, love it. This is what I've been working on. I mean, I've been in and out of bands and out of clubs since I was 14, like with various bands and projects and styles and just working on it. And this man, like, I get to do anything I want musically, and it seems like the farther out I take it, like the more the more my fans respond to it. Yeah. Which is which is, which is great, and it feels like. And if that frees me up, this track record for these three records has freed me up to like really, really do what I want anytime I want. And that's that's the hope. So, it's crazy. I'll never get sick of that. Making a living doing what you love. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's going down POS, man. We love it, man. Yo, but everybody's so passionate about this shit, man. Yeah, yeah. We're, I was talking to Sims earlier. I was like, have you have you had to check POS's ego yet? Is he is he blowing up? Is he is he have an entourage? <laughs> is it jewelry? Obviously, he shows up with a dookie chain. No, like it's all jokes. But I, I, the, the Doom Tree thing is still alive and well. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, I'll, I'll say it like this: like right now, like for all the success or whatever I've had this year, I drive a '95 Honda Civic with rust on two sides. <laughs> Word. Next year, 
I might buy a 98 Civic with rust on top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next year after that, I might get like a 2001 Accord with no rust. You know, you know, Fam, Ludic like, Ludacris told me a story one time in an interview. He was saying that he had the same car he used to drive around the South and sell his demos in. He still has it. And every time he does an album, he gets in and drives around in the car. Nah, to remind himself. That's a good move, man. I feel like being from this city and being from what I came from, like, I've been in music my like my whole adolescent to adult life. Yeah. You know, I've been I've been a part of it. And the music that I grew up on is about unity and it's about collaboration and it's about not feeling yourself out of control you know like yeah. the, kind of, the kind of music i look i listened to growing up you, you know you look at you look at bon jovi with the hair all fancy yeah and jewels and it's just like clowns show me some real shit right 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 i feel like that's <laughs> like there's a difference between led zeppelin and and and, and poison exactly. it's rock and roll but there was glam rock and then there was grunge rock. I'm just saying. You guys are like more like grunge rock. Like, this is like, like not to make a generalization, but the Seattle grunge scene. Very, very like, it went national. I'm talking about the Minneapolis You're scene. About Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah because. A lot, a lot of ways. It's, people are looking for real MCs that can really spit. Yeah. They're looking for content that they can actually get behind yep. and content that they can relate with. Yep. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of people in Minneapolis are that, you know? And if they're not that, they're striving to be that instead of striving to be some other ridiculous... Chasing something. Chasing something, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like I the overall theme when I talk to fans is they speak on behalf of us. They relate, we relate to them. Yeah. It's, it's about locally us, it's about us. Because when you're in Minnesota, you don't realize it until you come out here and live out here, it's kind of a bubble. Chicago's like eight hours, there's nothing really out around us, and we, people just stay here. And there's no major labels saying, hey, this is what's selling, this is what you gotta do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. What we have is just independent, creative people. And even if you go to Chicago, there's no major labels there. No, 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 no. It's just the same different little bubbles going, this is what we gotta do to do our own shit. Word up. Anything big for like 2010, I'm saying, like, what's next? I mean, <laughs> I'm going to try and work this record all year. Maybe sit down and make another one. I've been, I've been doing some cool remixes. I can't really announce because they're not cleared yet. But it's big. I've been doing some cool stuff. What's up, man? Yo, your man, P.O.S. Steps in the building. It's going down. B96. We out here, Pop. My man. So when they can't stop, won't stop Who keeps the tank top? Who reaps the good sleep? Keeps the receipts? I see them sucking up the last drop Drop top H2, stretch H3 Where the party at? Democrats sitting on a muggy Summer band sipping muddy water Peeping news We can see what's up with sauce and slaughter Holidays on the way Turn your AC Slater up Aloe vera green Apple, I'm a yep. 